Hello guys, welcome to another daily video. In this video, I'll be showing you my three option trades today and a breakdown of Apple in the upcoming tomorrow's afternoon earnings. So if you guys been watching my video, you know that whatever comes up, just throw it back down. And that's what I did for Facebook today. It took a while, but I knew it was gonna come down. I jumped in early today because I had a test this morning and I just had to be. So, and after the test, like, wow, I know it's gonna be making money. So I sold it at 132. So an hour, 32 bucks, not too bad. So Facebook, nice running, gap up, come down. Twitter, also nice, gap up, come down. McDonald's, gap up, come down. Uh, Netflix, gap up, come down. You see a trend here for the bear market? So, Apple may be a good play on Thursday and Friday. Next one, we have Alibaba. So I knew, I know that Baidu, also a big tech giant in China, beat its earnings yesterday, and Alibaba has its earnings on Friday. So what tend to happen before earnings? They run up. If you look at Alibaba history, uh, a week before its earnings, and a, or a few days before its earnings, you see the stock price run up. But Alibaba is a great company, by the way, so I just, I just know like people are gonna buy in today, so I got a call um, after the market dip, after lunch, after lunch. So two o seven bought it, so at two forty, and I think it's twenty minutes ish. Oh no, fifteen minutes. So um, a good o uh, almost a uh, thirty three bucks profit. Fifteen minutes, nice. So this is Alibaba I had today, and the next one I'll be showing you is our Apple put. So I was watching Apple very closely during lunch. And I see uh, an exhaustion candle at the 220 mark. So we test 220, we came back down, and we test again. When we test that moment, I got in the put. It's very risky, so, but I got out with a good profit. Uh, I think uh, 21 bucks, I mean 11 bucks. Not too bad. If I held it the other day, it could be more. But I see profit, I just take it. So this is my deep place for today. Mm, not too bad, I like it. And let's talk about um, Apple. So if you look at Apple, we know, what, what do we notice? For this year, well, for the quarter three earnings last year, till, till today, so one year ago, till now, they have uh, four earnings, right? So every single earning they beat it. Beat it, beat it, also beat it. And they have an earning coming up tomorrow after hour. So what do you see in this pattern right here? Beat the earning, we gap up, and consolidate, we re went down a little bit and we'll have earnings coming up and then came back up, consolidate, gap down, earnings coming up, go up, um, earnings coming, go down, and then beat earnings, go up. Before the earnings, Apple tend to sell off if you see this uh, red candles right here, uh, red candles right here, this one right here, and red candles right here. So what am I anticip anticipating tomorrow is at the end of the trading hour, let's say 350 to 355, there's gonna be a sell off in Apple. So Apple's gonna go down, and then at that moment, just get a quick call for the, for Friday, because uh, report ending after Thursday market closes. So Friday is gonna be a reflect. So get a very quick call, a cheap call too, um, for tomorrow, and then based on the pattern, I do think Apple is going to go up. And then sell that quick, sell a call, get into a put. Why? We are in your bear market. And let's look at Apple's um, expected move for November 2nd this Friday. If you look at the um, expected move, it's 11.176. So Apple closed at 218.86, let's say 219. So we are looking at, um, we are looking at an upside of uh, 229, that's a 230. Let's take a let's take a two thirty. Two thirty will have a six thousand volume. Two thirty five four thousand. Two twenty seventeen hundred. I mean seventeen thousand. So pretty massive. And look at the calls. Look at the puts. Uh, by judging from the eyes, more calls than puts. But puts aren't that far away either. But I'm more into calls because think about this. Fitbit, billion earnings today. GoPro. Billion earnings a while ago. Netflix, Netflix be earning. Facebook be earning. 
um, Tesla is earning, Twitter is earning. So there's six big tech giants I just talked about. What's going to happen to Apple? Um, pretty much the same. I don't see why now they wouldn't be the earnings. And plus, the, the, um, the pattern shows that, wow, so it looks like it's probably going to go up. Let's take a look at what I was talking about today when I got when I got Apple put. Why did I get Apple put for today? Day trade only. So if you look at what happened today, Apple gap up at like 11, 11 ish and then try to test 220. When it almost hit 220, shut back down. And then we'll have a green candle up, 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 up to 220. Test the 220, came back down. And then test it again, came back down. Test it again, came back down. I got a, a put right here when it tried to touch 220 and just fall back down and I saw it right here. If I if I held it if I held it longer, it could be nicer, but we don't know what's gonna happen at the end of the day. So tomorrow I'm 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 anticipating Apple is it gonna run up to 220 again, 221, because that's the previous resistance at 221. Right here. 221. 220 Oh, sorry, right here. Sorry, sorry, 221. What am I looking at? So the previous resistance is 221 right here. So we're, gonna, we're probably going to try to break 221 to 22, but at the end of the day, it's going to sell a little bit to 220 to 19, and that's when you get a call for the Friday's play. So I'm anticipating to 221 tomorrow, very quick. 221.50. And then at the end of the day, it's gonna come back down to 219. And then when it speaks earnings, oh yeah, 225. Oh, can we go that high? 225, like that. So this is what I'm, I am uh, anticipating, 225. But if Apple misses earnings and revenue, we're looking at a gap down to 200 area right here. Just right here. Because um, last time, we have a gap up from 190, from the 190 area to um, 200, right, right, hold on, right here. Last time when it's beat earning, we have a huge gap right here. So this gap ought to be filled. So if the Apple misses earning, 220, right here, fill the gap. But tomorrow, I'm going to play a call at the end of the day and then sell it on Friday and switch to put. And I'll keep you guys updated. Well, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.